Jeffrey Gamer is not responsible for your game files. All mods in this tutorial have been tested and work properly. I strongly advise you back up your files as shown in this video in case you make any mistakes. I also advise you watch the full video before installing any mods. Thanks. Enjoy the tutorial. What is up everybody and welcome back to yet another installment of Jeffrey Gamer Tutorials. Guys, these videos are building up man. I've got so many tutorial videos out there. Hold on one second, I gotta readjust my microphone there. And this one is for, uh, can be for LSPDFR or regular GTA gameplay, as uh, what we're gonna be installing is a uh, newer uh, real weapon sound mod. And guys, it's super easy. Um, real quick, go ahead and just start your open IV. Let's fire that up because you will need that and only that for this mod. And thank you to Criminal Justice for putting me onto this mod. Um, when he finds good mods, uh, he shares them with me so I can pass them on to my subscribers and vice versa. If I find something cool, I pass it on to him. But this mod is absolutely awesome, guys. And I watched his video and listened to it, and it's just great. Um, we can minimize our open IV and double click the link down below that says real weapon sounds. That's going to bring you to this page right here. Uh, look, at, look at this guy's uploading the patrol right now as we speak and uh, it's only a 32% it's been going that's the thing about having the good graphics is it takes a while to upload the files so what's cool about this mod is I know I have a realistic weapon sound mod tutorial already out there which is great that one works great it's got a different sound so I'm gonna keep that video up um, but this one changes the sounds of all the weapons um, the first one I put up only does like the uh, the assault rifle, the handgun, and the shotgun. Where this one changes the sounds of the machine guns, uh, the rocket launchers, grenades, explosions. It's pretty cool, guys. So let's let's go ahead and click to download this file right there. And mine, as you all know, downloads right down here. And I like to just open it right up. You can save it to your desktop, wherever you can get to your WinRAR file. And as you can see, that is going to probably because I'm uploading right now. So um, I will see you guys as soon as this finishes uh, downloading. All right, we got it downloaded. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up. Get rid of the little, little, little purchase me box. And I'm going to minimize out of my web browser because I'm uploading, but you can exit out of your web browser if you'd like. And we're gonna pull this right here. <laughs> and what you wanna do, guys, is you wanna go to Real Weapon Sound, okay? And double click that. And right here in the Read Me file, First, let's go ahead and select the weapons.oac in the weapons folder and drag those to your desktop, okay guys? Just like that. So you got the weapons OAC and the weapons folder right there. Um, we're not gonna be installing this, but it still, it says to drag it to your desktop. So, you know, always follow the, the uh, creator's uh, instructions because that's, you know, that's just what you do. So, Let's go ahead and bring up our open IV and hit that edit mode. Just like that. Yes. And go to the if you go to the README file, it tells you right here the pathway you want, guys. Okay, so we want mods. Then we want time 64. Audio. SFX and resident.rpf. And you know this is this is where uh, this is where you want to be. Now you can go up to favorites, hit favorites, add to favorites, and save your uh, resident.rpf up there. Um, as you can see, I, well, weapons. If I click weapons, oh, I know I had it. I got it in here. Yeah, there we are. 
so I have it saved under Sirens because this is the same pathway you go for the Sirens. Um, but yeah, mods, time 64, audio, SFX, resident.rpf. Okay, so we can get rid of the README, we can get rid of the WinRAR, we can exit out of that. So we got our two files right here. We are in the right pathway, guys. Make sure you're in this right pathway. And uh, what you want to do is you want to take your weapons.oac uh, and drag. No, nope, don't drag both. You just want to drag the one. Drag the weapons.oac right to your open IV, just like that, and drop it in there, guys. You'll see that little box pop up for a second. And that is it. It is installed. Uh, click your edit mode. Uh, I like to go to file, close all archives, exit out of that. We can delete these two files off of our desktop. And guys, before I probably should have put this um, in the beginning of the video, uh, but hopefully you watch this video before you do the install. Guys, make sure to back up anytime you're installing uh, mods, especially with OpenIV. Um, you want to back up your game file, and if you don't know how to back up your game file by now, you're going to go to your common folder where your Grand Theft Auto folder is, and that you go to your disk drive that you have it installed in for Steam users. You want program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, and common. And here are my Grand Theft Auto files. I have other ones saved on different drives just for the sake of space. Um, but I installed it into this one right here. As you all know, the Grand Theft Auto uh, folder that just says Grand Theft Auto V is the one that that open IV is going to draw from. So all you do, guys, is right-click it, hit copy, go down here, left-click, right-click, and paste it. Once you do that, the box will pop up showing you that it's copying. And depending on how many mods you have in it, uh, it could take up to upwards of 20 to 30 minutes. But it's so worth it, guys. So worth it, okay? So that's how you back up your main directory. That way, if you don't like the way it sounds, if it makes your game crash, all you do is go to that file, right click it, and delete it. And then you have your backup file that you can go back to that, that is what your game was before you installed this, okay? So very important to do that, all right? So we are all set, guys. Let's jump in the game and see how this sounds. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in the game. Let's check out these weapon sounds, shall we? Here's your regular, your regular handgun. Still has that echo. Man, it sounds so good. Uh, let's go to the grenade so you can hear the explosion. Even the sound. Wow! Oh my god, man. <laughs> Now, did you hear the sound it makes when it hits the ground? Wow, even the explosion looks different. That's real. All right, here's a grenade launcher. That's so awesome. Here's the shotgun. Uh, let's go with the assault rifle. gun here, the combat machine gun. Wow. Oh, and of course, I forgot to, I forgot to grab it. Uh, the taser. Let's go with the taser. Oh yeah, that sounds way better. Sounds way better, guys. Uh, man, I have to say, this is, this is quite an awesome mod. Let's try the rocket one. Oh, that's so great. That is so great. Yeah, I have to say, I love the grenade. I love the way the grenade hits the ground. And that explosion, it sounds so good. So that's it, guys. There is a complete weapon overhaul, a sound overhaul, and even some effects. 
I don't know if that explosion effect is part of the Mick Visuals Graded Gun or a different visual mod. I don't know. Um, honestly, that's the first time I've thrown a grenade in forever. So I don't know if that explosion, uh, you know, effect is part of this mod, but it's awesome, guys. Uh, these weapon sounds are awesome. I'm actually going to go and install this into my uh, natural vision folder as well as that one has the first weapons overhaul that I did. But this one, like I said, you can go through all of your uh, weapons here. And from what I heard, it changes the sound of a lot of it. A lot of it. So, oh, the sniper, the heavy sniper. Let's try that once. Wow. I'm not a shot like that. I'm not a shot like CJ is. I don't know if you guys saw it. I don't know if I can shoot these guys down. Oh, 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 oh. Got him. No, 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 no. I don't know if you guys ever played uh, Duck Hunt. That's a little old school for some of you guys. But, um, yeah, that is that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and get you some. Go get you, get you some. Go get you some weapon sounds for your game. Whether you're a police officer or whether you're a bad guy just wreaking havoc in the streets of Los Santos. Definitely something you want. You know me with the uh, realism mods. I hear a plane. Oh, Look at this guy, he's just gonna... Oh, what to say, I'm not a cop, so I'm gonna go ahead and... Wow! Did you hear that? Sorry, dude. Jeffrey Gamer does not condone violence. Rather, promote love, peace, and happiness. It says it in my description, guys. I do this just for, you know, a little bit of laugh. <laughs> Which sounds even worse, right? Alright, guys, so that is it. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please check out my YouTube brothers and sisters down below. Uh, CJ, thank you, brother, for the uh, suggestion on this mod. Um, as I'm sure my my uh, my my viewers and my subscribers are gonna love it. To all of my subscribers, thank you guys so much. Last I checked, we are at 663 subscribers, guys. We're so much closer to that 1,000 mark. And guys, like I said, when we hit that 1,000 mark, a huge giveaway from Jeffrey Gamer will be in order. So let's get there. Let's get big together. Um, and just love you guys so much. Love the continued love and support. Until next time, guys, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Be f***ing positive, okay? Positivity is key. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer is out. I'm going to close out with the machine gun. Go check out the merch. Check out the merch!